Okay, what were we doing again? Ah, uh, yes, we have to leave and make our way to cobblestone. And also, we have to go and grab the red orb from the temple that it's in. We have to go through that forest, though. That's the first order of business. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. <laughs> yeah. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We'd better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, uh, we need to go to the Mangle Grove. Yay. Actually, are there any quests that are up? No. Okay. No quests are up. Uh, if anyone knew, just so you know, uh, when I come in here and check to see if there's quests up, if you see that these unknowns here are grayed out, that means that's not available yet. If they become white, that means that quest is available available somewhere in the world at that point in time. it'll give you a hint also of where to actually pick up the quest but uh, sometimes the hint is not always all that useful I remember I had a few where when I was playing my first time through I, I had to look up where to actually find them because I just couldn't figure out where to go and accept the quest Okay. We are in the Mangle Grove, and if I remember correctly, we can't yet go up that way. We have to get all the way down to the Heliodor region exit. I don't remember us being able to just waltz right through here. I remember they're gonna. Remember there being some sort of event we have to take care of. closer to dying, so I decided to attack it first. Nice crit, but I prefer you do that on the first hit. Who else wants some? Uh, let's check for any sparklies around here. Treasure chests and the like. Oops, sparkly. Take out this dude first, though. use it. Why not? Continue looking around here. 
I see no more sparklies or chests, so let's move on. Yeah, if this was Shinmu, that would have been a uh, QTE part right there. I hate fighting those little dust things, because you really need to be able to use magic against them. Otherwise, they, uh, they dodge your attacks too much. That thing lived for a second there. I was like, really? Who else wants that lived? But no, he died. We are going to go back up in here real quick. Here we go. So the kind of stuff we're looking for. do that. I don't attack is why. Good, good, good. Another one bites the dust. Come on, dude, you at least gotta like say that in a cheerful manner. Another one bites the dust. That's the more proper way to do that. Oh yeah, these things. Ugh. Fungus. Who else wants some? <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't see any more sparklies that I missed. Better be a treasure up here. I, I don't remember it's been so long. Well, I see some items we can grab, at the very least. Ah, there we go, treasure chest as well. Ah, yes. So if you see over there, little uh, targeting thing, the circle with the circle button on it. Later on, we will get a way to interact with those. Quite a bit later, though. Ooh, more medals. Definitely want all of the mini medals we can get. Those are, again, something we don't have a use for for quite a while, but they are very, very useful once we are actually able to use them. Oh, I see a sparkly. Did that respawn or did I miss it? Let's go ahead and take this thing out while we're here. Those are some lips, aren't they? Oh. Another one bites the dust. Ain't all these enemies in the way? Huh. Eric is kind of taking a beating, isn't he? Man. I think it just fell right behind us, didn't it? What is their obsession with Eric? Let's go ahead and heal him once. See, he just keeps taking a beating from everything. Um, let's 
see. Treasure. Treasure, treasure. Any treasure. I see no treasure. Oh, yes. We can eventually go down below there. Um, and those horses, I believe, tell you the weather as well. Weather not too important right now, uh, but later on there'll be quests and uh, specific uh, specific enemies we're going to be looking for, for crafting and whatnot, and uh, certain monsters and whatnot. They only appear in certain types of weather, or at certain times of the day. Uh, easiest way to you know, change the weather is just to teleport between places. Uh, once we get the ability to do that, it's a spell. Shouldn't be too much more longer until we learn it, but uh, once we learn that spell, you can teleport between either camps or towns we've already been to. And when you do that, it allows you, you know, it randomizes the weather. So. Look at that! A campsite! And just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. <laughs> we sure did when we got our hands on it. Uh, behold, the fun size forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out, and you're sure to find some beauties. Okay. Crafting tutorial. Okay, let's look at weapons. Bronze sword. Let's make ourselves a bronze sword. So you can see difficulty, you can see its materials it requires. And if you look at the checkbox right next to it, if you've made it, it'll be a check. Uh, you'll get a little check by whatever you've made. Okay, now we get the mini game here. So you have these different abilities you can do. Bash, you, st you strike at a square, and basically you're gonna get a bar. It's gonna raise to the, like the green, and you want to get it in the green, as close to a little diamond as you possibly can. Uh, flourishes. Take a closer look at the item. Okay, let's go. Bash. Just do this. It's gonna be easy. And we have a temperature there. And that'll come into play a whole lot later. You can get crits when you do this too. Okay, that's good. We can finish. If you do really good, you can get like plus one, plus two, and up to plus three on an item. There are also other ways to get pluses on items, but one of the easiest is to do really good when you make it. As you see here, I got a plus two on the bronze sword. Yeah, you got two perfectionist pearls. So you use these, or can be used to like rework equipment and whatnot. So if you have a piece of equipment that's plus zero, 
you can do that and make a new uh, version of it. Wow. The 65. We need Pep Pop and Kaleida Cloth to make that. Something tells me I can't, I don't have access to those. Let me see. Well, I want to rest again, though, because I want to see if the shopkeeper is there. <sighs> Let's do this again. Is the shopkeeper here? No, he's not. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, so usually there's shopkeepers here, and you can buy items from them. Okay. I do kind of want to make Eric a dagger. Uh, I'm not going to equip it on him just yet, but it can be good for him if we come up against a boss. And these things get significantly harder as the uh, recipes get harder, basically. And as you level up, you get more uh, different abilities you can use to help craft weapons better. Okay, let's go ahead and give that item to Eric. rest until morning. I'm gonna go in the house too in a second. I think there's a book in the house, like a uh, crafter's book, of some sort. I vaguely remember that being the case. Hey, what's going on, Krim? How are you doing? Ah, uh, see, I knew it. Shields and whatnot. Um... Let's actually go and see if we can get craft. No, I don't want to rest yet. I want to craft items. Armor and oops, shields. Scale shields. Excellent. Oh man, Krim. I got FFBE working on my computer. Ooh, just barely. Plus two. 
What was it? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, probably the virus software, which is weird because it's the same virus software I have on my other computer that it worked on. But I, uh, I took, I basically uninstalled the virus software that was on my computer and just am running Windows Defender and this other malware uh, thing that a friend of mine recommended. And it booted up just fine. Okay. There we go. Great. Excellent. We got that stuff. Tends to be curse reduced by 25%. Mm, that's probably good enough to do that. Nah. Yeah, it's good that it got working finally. Uh, also, Graham, emote, uh, the, the, the yo emote is officially up on Twitch now. It actually got approved quite quickly. Because I, I submitted it, uh... I submitted it uh, yesterday, and it already got approved. Yep. Um, for now, I'm leaving it on uh, Better Twitch TV as as well, but I will be removing it off of Better Twitch TV this weekend, and then sometime next week, I'm going to be looking to put up a new emote on there and start filling out those five. but is now officially on Twitch and can be used in any channel. Chop, chop, chop. Chop around the clock. One, two, three, look out, trees. Oh, a woodcutter's life is the life for me. <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again. If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll... Ta-da! You called? Tricky devil at your service! <laughs> ah, I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge! I'm not about to let you fix it again! Here, get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam! <laughs> ah! One minute you're a silly old woodcutter, the next minute you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. <laughs> Bye, doggy. Stay. <laughs> Ooh. 
an empty treasure chest. I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet. What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. Yeah, Krim, I've, I've been watching a lot of Yakuza 0 as well. I haven't obviously played it since, uh, not Yakuza 0, Yakuza 2. I haven't played uh, Kiwami, but, uh, man, it looks awesome. Uh, what's this? A console patch, huh? Yeah, question is though, what actually is it gonna fix? Watch, they fix a whole bunch of stuff, but don't fix the uh, QTE thing. <laughs> Here come my next victims. Ta -da! Introducing the one, the only, Tricky Devil! Uh, hi. Hey! You're supposed to be shocked by my devilish trickiness! No? Time for plan B then! Take this! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you just do, oh, cheeky devil? Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! Yeah, I don't think that's happening, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and switch him out for the dagger. Can we recruit him? Yeah, unfortunately, we can't recruit him. Man, we're just wailing on this guy. I think I can go another turn without healing Eric. Oh, wait until he takes damage again. Okay, now we'll heal him. Now he's a little low. Man, I can't get over how much nicer the UI looks on the US version than the Japanese version. I just looks so much better. Another one bites the dust. I'm telling you, you gotta say that in a little charm. Another one bites the dust. If you don't say it that way, it's just it's not as cool. Oh, this can't be happening. Looks like 
the joke's on me this time. Uh. <laughs> I like that. Uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> such a. Hey oh, there, man. you two. <laughs> oh look, it's our pal the pooch. <laughs> Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter, by the way. We know. And I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay? Yeah, his death was just like, his death was like, <clears throat> he was like, eh. <laughs> It's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up. It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. Good. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life, as some call it. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil. Really? So, okay, so... A piece of root poking through from beneath... So they're calling the world tree Yggdrasil in this game. Gotcha. That's how they translated it. When I did my... It said that the world tree oh. can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. When I did my playthrough in Japanese and did the uh, interpretation for it and everything, I called it the world tree because I mean, that's the most literal translation of the Japanese, or what they call it. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones. Of course, here they call it. By the world here they call tree. it the world tree. And you've got gray hair too. Life just isn't fair. Make up your mind, game. <laughs> So not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on. Like it, they call it Yggdrasil, and then like not five minutes later, they call it the World Tree. Okay. I wonder if it's gonna let me go down there. I know I can get down there eventually. Yeah, so we're gonna get. Yeah, we're gonna give up chance to crit. I'm gonna go up here. How many points do we need? We need 10, 20. 36 plus this. I think this is 20. So quite a ways to go before we unlock that. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think, uh, I'm definitely grabbing this right now. Just trying to decide which way I want to go after this. Whether I want to go for more accuracy. I go this way to power, because I want metal liquor. Eventually, for metal slimes. Ooh, I want to check what this guy sells. Not the stuff I'm wanting. There are some materials I'm currently looking for to upgrade the uh, DLC items. Which I think is actually a nice, cool little touch. The DLC items that you get in this game, you can actually upgrade them. So you can continue to use them, so long as you have the stuff to do that. I need to switch you back over to the boomerang. Oh, now that I actually have the boomerang equipped to him. I need to go back and check how much that other boomerang on that uh, vendor was. Yeah, it's, it's actually really nice since they... Well, I shouldn't say it lets you upgrade all of them. Because it doesn't let you upgrade all of them. But it lets you upgrade the ones uh, that change the hero's appearance to look like the uh, Dragon Quest VIII hero. Those two items you can upgrade. Or upgrade. It's actually not really upgrade. You actually use them as... Okay. You actually, you actually use them as a um, material. Which is interesting. Because this game has two ways to do upgrades. Um, you can just do your standard upgrade. Which is like, you take an item, you put it into the little upgrade machine, and you try to reforge it, and you can get like plus one, plus two, and whatnot on it. But the way you upgrade the DLC items is you just make a whole brand new item using the original item as a... Uh, oh, I was trying to say, as an A piece of the recipe and this gets around the limits of the giving it a plus because if you give it a plus then you can only get it up to plus I think it's three if I remember correctly is the max so by using it as a material that allows you to get much much higher in stats on the upgrade the next time I get to a camp I can show you all that because I think you may have missed it when I learned the uh, or got the story sequence to be able to upgrade and craft items. Looking for treasure chests and whatnot here. Fighting the occasional monster. I love that crit there. Huh. Ooh, here we go. And you do want to be picking up all these sparklies and stuff. Uh, you can zone and zone back. And they'll... They should respawn. Um, but they're all used in crafting recipes and whatnot. Want to get more skill points than two, please? 
more than two. Would be awesome. I, what I really need to do is get online and look up how many skill points each character needs to max out their tree. For how many skill seeds I need to do it. Because each character is different on the amount of skill seeds they need to max out their tree at the end of the game. Because we have 18 skill seeds from the DLC that we could use. Really? I missed? I don't know what it was trying to do to me there. Ha! Huh. Easy! Yeah, the skill seeds are awesome. Um, I forget exactly how many I have. Seed of skill, so 18, yeah. And if you ju if you don't use any seed of skill, you can't fully level up a character, or like can't you can fully level up level them up, obviously. But their skill tree, you can't fully oh, like open up. You can't get everything on it. However, you can use skill seeds to get it, so you can get absolutely everything eventually. But the amount of skill seeds necessary, so like the amount of points a character will be short is different for each character. And obviously if you use more skill seeds than what they would need, then you're just wasting them. Want some. <laughs> mm. Okay. Really want to get my horsey back? Need to find a little horse bell so I can get it. Ah, here. We're right next to Cobblestone. Let's see what, uh, Fate has befallen our hometown. I mean, come on, surely it's perfectly fine, right? Well, everything seems fine.
But wait. What's with this dialogue here? He says, it's rare to see travelers here in Cobblestone. Hope you enjoy your stay. We don't have an inn or anything, I'm afraid. Why would he be saying this to the hero? Hmm. Hmm. Something doesn't seem right here. Whatever could be amidst... Oh, oh, oh. I see a sparkly. Certainly, certainly we can go say hi to mom, right? Is that you, dear? I'm cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table and I'll just give it a last little stir. Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? What nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. Gemma, who are you? Look, it's it's Minnie's. But that can't be right. Oh wait, I get it. That's not your name. You mean you're looking for him, right? He went to look for Chalky. Come on, follow me. <laughs> I don't know, Krim. Where are they? What could be going on here? It's so... so weird. I have no idea what's going on. None whatsoever. Hey, Grandad, can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off, and now it's stuck up a tree. <laughs> well, we can't be having that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. 
Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? Yep, it's Chibi Hero. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it. I've known you since you were a baby, after all. I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you, old Grandad, what's on your mind? I see. So, you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything. Instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. Oh, but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grown up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. Always saw me right. Bye now. What's going on? I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know what happens. What was all that about? It'd be so much easier if I had, like, you know, maybe played this game before and actually it was going on, but I, I just have no idea. I'm not trying to uh to give excellent delivery on that. <laughs> I would also need to remove the little uh, note at the top of the screen that says this is my second playthrough. I would also have to change the title. Because that says so as well. Oh. Thanks for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play anytime you like. <laughs> Are you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. 
But wait, oh my god, look what happened to the village, oh man! Totally didn't see that coming. Yeah, protagonist is silent, except for when he's a little kid. I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here, here after go. you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Here's my reaction. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing. And so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... You went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... And... Yourself? That is seriously weird. Not gonna lie, when I first got here, when I was playing the Japanese version, I was, like, super confused about what was going on. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but... Hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. Give me a sec. Oh my god, it's all damaged. Those bastages. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta kill them all. I mean, to be fair, this is super, like, if you didn't know that that was gonna happen, you haven't played many video games. Don't mind if I grab this chest here. I mean, the fact that that was gonna happen, was like, you could see it coming from a mile away. Where was the rock we were looking for again? Oh, it's in here somewhere. I remember it being like stupidly obvious, but I couldn't find it the first time, and I'm having the same trouble again. Yeah, like I said, I remember it being stupidly obvious, but I had that tre same trouble again. So it's right here.
Letters, huh? The top one there's seen better days, that's for sure. My dearest, darling baby boy. When finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escaped to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the King of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. They need to, uh, work on who they trust. Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. Ooh, plot drop. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way. Oh, I it's from skip that way early. You, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? To my dearest grandson. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the king when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Cornelian thinks so badly of you. Oh, I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. Yep, the uh, the nameless hero is a prince who is from, well, who grew up in a really remote village, and now he has to set out on an adventure expanding the entire world. Never saw that coming. So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. The King's Barrow's not too far from here. Just down the way, in fact. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. 